Bachelor Season 23, Week 4 Recap, Kaylin gets closer to Colton and Hannah. Because she's been there and done that, literally. Former Bachelor contestant Tear Fountain Ashley Iaconetti is recapping the season of The Bachelor for Cosmopolitan. With insider insight as well as a clear eye for what's going down both in front of and behind the cameras, read on for her thoughts. It's rare to see a date on The Bachelor in which you feel like the two people don't realize there are cameras everywhere. Last night, it felt like we were just flies around Kaylin and Colton's table. The date was way more intimate than we're used to seeing. And from my memory, there has never been a scene in any Bachelor season like the one in which Kaylin tells Colton about her sexual assault. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been for Kaylin to tell that story to Colton for the first time on camera. I can't believe how disgusting and soulless and evil those men are who did that to her and her friends. I can't get over the fact it's legal for a hospital to turn down a rape kit to a woman who has been, tells them she has been, sexually assaulted. I had never heard that before until Kaylin and Colton's conversation. According to Rain, one in six women in America have been the victim of an attempted or completed rape, so statistically speaking, many women in the franchise's past have gone through similar horrors. Thank you for being so brave, Kaylin, and sharing your story, because if it helps just one girl watching the show, it was worth it. Vulnerable conversation significantly deepened the bond between Colton and Kaylin. She feels safe around Colton, in part, I'd guess, because he's a virgin and obviously not a sexually aggressive man. Colton reveals that one of the many factors that have played into him become a 26-year-old virgin is that his ex and first love was also sexually assaulted. He doesn't say it verbatim, but I think it can be assumed that that sex was a sensitive subject in that relationship. Oh, and that Hannah v. Kaylin drama? It seemingly ended last night with a simple yet vague chat about burying the hatchet. We don't even know what the freaking hatchet was. Even if the show decides to stop airing the beef between these two beauty queens, we know that. There's no way the air was actually cleared between them after the chat. I mean, right. Here's my theory, if the drama really stops and we never get a heated two-on-one between the Miss USA 2018 contestants, it's because once. Kaylin revealed the story of her sexual assault, Bachelor no longer wanted to continue the pageant rivalry narrative. Makes sense. It feels shallow and superficial in comparison. So, the petty drama was good for a couple episodes, but they had to find a quick way to put that storyline to bed. They also wouldn't want Hannah, who I've found to be a funny relatable character thus far, be the girl constantly giving the girl who has been through hell. Dirty looks. I think the reason the drama has been so vague throughout the first four episodes is because they knew ultimately it was never going to be a fully developed storyline. Would this be shitty writing if it were a scripted show? Yes.